Percy and the Bandstand. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. The FAC controller was in Great Waterton with Miss Jenny, Jack and Alfie. They were building a new bandstand. There was to be an open-air concert that evening. It was a special surprise for Lady Hat. She loved brass band. All the engines were busy helping to make the day special. Edward was bringing special parcels. Thomas was bringing the banners and bunting. And Percy was bringing gravel for the pathways. Thank you, Percy. Right on time. Percy tried to shunt the trucks into place, but the trucks decided to be troublesome. <laughs> Hold back! Hold back! Percy pushed and pushed, but the trucks wouldn't move. <laughs> Percy knew what he had to do. He had to use his do-as-I-say whistle. So Percy blew his whistle long and loudly. The trucks knew that when Percy blew his do-as-I-say whistle, they had to do what he wanted. It meant Percy was in charge. Soon, all the trucks were in line. The fat controller bustled over to Percy. I hope I didn't blow my whistle too loudly. Not at all, Percy. You showed you were in charge. Percy was relieved. Now, I need you to collect Lady Hat and bring her to the surprise concert. You must be here by tea time, understand? Yes, sir. You mustn't tell her where she's going, or it will spoil the surprise. Don't worry, sir, I won't. Percy had collected the carriage. He had to meet Lady Hat at Maithwaite Station. It was a long way from Great Waterton. At last, Percy puffed into Maithwaite Station. All aboard! Sir Topham Hatt has sent me to take you on a special trip. Oh, that sounds lovely. First of all, I'd like to go to the duck pond. And Lady Hatt climbed on board. Percy was worried. He was supposed to take Lady Hatt to the bandstand. That was her special trip. Percy knew there wasn't time to go to the duck pond, but he didn't dare tell Lady Hat. He thought she might be cross, so he puffed to the duck pond. Lady Hat stood by the duck pond. She liked watching the ducks. They quacked and quacked. But Percy wanted them to be on their way. At last, Lady Hat was back on board. Next, I'd like to go to the windmill. Percy was very worried. He knew there wasn't time to go to the windmill, but he didn't feel brave enough to tell Lady Hat. So Percy puffed away. When they arrived at the windmill, Dusty Miller was there. Lady Hat was pleased. Hello, Dusty. How are you? We're going to be really late now. Percy huffed to himself. At last, Lady Hat finished talking to Dusty. Now, Percy, I'd like to see the bluebells in the woods. It would be the perfect end to my special trip. Percy was more worried than ever. Percy puffed to the woods, but with every puff he was getting later and later and further and further from Lady Hat's surprise. Percy and Lady Hat arrived at the wood. Lady Hat wandered off to admire the bluebells. Percy waited and waited. Suddenly, Thomas puffed up to Percy. 
Where have you been, Percy? The Fat Controller is cross. He doesn't want Lady Hat to be late. Percy didn't want the Fat Controller to be cross. He didn't want the surprise to be spoiled. Don't worry. I'll have her there on time. So Thomas puffed away. Percy couldn't see Lady Hat anywhere. Percy knew what he had to do. He had to use his do-as-I-say whistle. Percy blew his whistle long and loudly. Lady Hat came out of the woods. Percy, what do you want? I'm taking you to a surprise. That's your special trip. Oh, I love surprises. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you'd be cross with me if I told you what to do. And now we might be late. We must hurry. So Lady Hat climbed quickly on board and Percy raced away. Percy steamed back to Great Waterton as fast as he could. The band was warming up. Jack and Alfie were very excited. Percy had arrived with Lady Hat on time. The band started to play. Lady Hat was delighted. Oh, what a lovely surprise. Thank you for bringing me here on time, Percy. And thank you, Percy, for keeping it a surprise. Percy was pleased. His do-as-I-say whistle had saved the day. It had been really useful, and so had Percy. <laughs> Let's go!